Okay, class, this is the Big Bison Resort case study. Now, my edition is located at page 467. In your editions, it might be in a different location, but just look for Big Bison Resorts. I want you to read the case study, and there's going to be, first off, four things that you're going to ask yourself, and these are four things you'll always ask yourself when you have a case study. What worked? What mistakes are the company making? What changes would you suggest? And what would you suggest the company not do? Four basic questions. Boil them down. What worked? What didn't work? What should we do? And what shouldn't we do? Now, I want to have one more that I want you to think about, too. What issues do you see in the case? What we're going to do is call some issue spotting within the case. I dare will take a smaller case, but be able to look at it and say, okay, this is an issue I might have to consider, write about, or present on. Okay? So, with these ideas in mind, what I want you to do is read the case study, stop the tape now, and then when we resume, we'll go through some uh, issue spotting as well as uh, the big four questions that I spoke about. Stop the tape now, please. Welcome back. Now let's go through first the big four. And what I would suggest to you right now is what we're looking at here is a, a disconnect, so to speak, between management and the workers, the, the employees. Uh, what's working well? The CEO went down and uh, saw what was going on with his workers. That's a plus. What didn't work well is he's still a kind of insensitive guy. He comes up, reports back, and it's a, it's a big joke to him until he settles down and starts talking about the more serious things. Okay? At least that's the way I read it. Okay? So that didn't work. What should they do? The employee of the month idea was pretty good. And I would suggest to you, and I'm going to discuss here, what shouldn't they do is just junk this idea and say, we're going to go in a different direction totally. Okay? I think that they've got the kernel of a good idea, but they have to build on it. So, with that in mind, let's do some issue spotting. First one, uh, what the case is all about. Should implementation employee of the month program be reconsidered? Right? Uh, should we proceed with it? Maybe we shouldn't proceed with it. Maybe we have to revise it. And you could even put that in the issue. Should it be revised to include a uh, monetary reward? Should it be revised to include some form of recognition? All those are possible issues. Another issue, what's the role of HR in the development of this program, this Employee of the Month program, or for that matter, any productivity enhancement program? Here the CEO came up with the idea and gave it to HR. Why isn't HR taking a lead role? Why aren't the employees getting to say, this is what we would like to have? Okay? In other words, if he's dictating down, this is how we're going to improve productivity, but he's not getting input from the people he hired, HR, or the employees, the ones that are going to be the beneficiaries of it all. And then, this is a deeper question you could ask is, what's the responsibility of the CEO to his employees? It's one thing, as we discuss leadership, to say that people want to achieve something, but isn't there some responsibility on him to give them realistic goals, to give them the tools with which to do it? Maybe that's an issue, that he's not giving them the tools, that he's not appreciating their work, he's not building cohesion. So these are all possible issues that you could get out of that case and that you could write about, depending on how much information you've got. So that's the idea of issue spotting. We're going to do it with the next case as well. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.